We now reach the final part of this lecture. So for this part of the lecture, we will be defining integrals of vector functions. So let r be the vector valued function whose coordinates are x of t, y of t, and z of t. An antiderivative of r of t is a vector function f such that when we differentiate f, we get the function r. So, in other words, the function f is an indefinite integral of r given by the vector valued function whose coordinates are the integral of x of t dt, the integral of y of t dt, and the integral of z of t dt. Now, we will also define the definite integral of r of t from the point t equals a to the point t equals b, provided that the function r is a continuous vector function. So the definition of this definite integral is the vector valued function whose coordinates are the integral of x of t dt from a to b, the integral of y of t dt from a to b, and the integral of z of t from a to b. So similar to the derivative of a vector function, the computation for the antiderivative and the definite integral of a vector valued function is done component wise. So let us look at this example. So here we want to evaluate the derivative or rather the integral of r of t dt from 0 to 1 where the vector function r of t is the vector whose coordinates are 1 minus cosine of t, 2t plus 3, and 4t cubed minus 2. So for this problem, what we need to do is to compute the definite integral from 0, 1 of each of the coordinates. Okay? So the integral of r of t dt from 0 to 1 is given by this vector valued function whose coordinates are the given integrals. So for the first coordinate, we need to integrate 1 minus cosine of t. And what is this? The integral of 1 is t, the integral of cosine of t is sine t, and so for the first coordinate, we need to evaluate the function t minus sine t from 0 to 1. For the second coordinate, we integrate 2t and we get t squared. And the integral of 3 is, of course, uh, 3t. And this function we evaluate at 0 and 1 also. Finally, for the last coordinate, we need to integrate 4t cubed, which is t to the 4. And we need to integrate 2, which gives us 2t. Now, the difference of t to the 4 and 2t, we need to evaluate at 0 and 1. And so we obtain the vector whose uh, components are 1 minus sine of 1, 4 minus 1. So the integral of r from 0 to 1 is this vector here. For the second example, let us find the function r of t given that the derivative is the vector valued function whose coordinates are 3 t squared minus 1, 6 sine of 2t, and 2 e raised to the exponent 2t, such that r of 0 is the vector 1, 0, negative 3. Okay? So let's start. First, we find an antiderivative of r prime. 
So let r of t be the integral of r prime of t dt. Computing for this integral, we have the vector valued function whose coordinates are the integral of 3t squared minus 1, the integral of 6 sine 2t, and the integral of 2e to the 2t. Let us compute. Okay, the integral of 3t squared is t cubed. The integral of 1 is t. Now, to this difference t cubed minus t, we add a constant c1. Okay. For the second coordinate, let us integrate 6 sine of 2t. And for this one, we obtain negative 3 cosine 2t. Now, to this answer, we add a constant, c2. And finally, we integrate e to the 2t times 2, and we obtain e to the 2t plus a constant, c3. Okay? So, we want to determine the values of the constants c1, c2, c3, using the condition that r of 0 is the vector 1, 0, negative 3. So, let us plug in 0 to this function r of t, and we will get, so plug in 0 here and 0 here, the first coordinate will be c1. If we plug in 0 here, we will get cosine of 2t, and so the second coordinate will be negative 3, plus the constant C2. And finally, we plug in 0 to e to the 2t to obtain 1 plus the constant C3. So this is R of 0, but this vector whose coordinates are C1, negative 3 plus C2, 1 plus C3 is also the same vector as 1, 0, negative 3. And so, we conclude that C1 must be equal to 1, C2 must be equal to 3, and C3 must be equal to negative 4. And now, knowing the values of C1, C2, and C3, all we need to do is to plug in these numbers back to the expression for R of t. And so finally, we obtain R of t is equal to the vector t cubed minus t plus 1, negative 3 cosine 2t plus 3, and e to the 2t minus 4. Okay, and that concludes the lecture for this topic, and I hope you can try answering the following exercises.